Hi guys, so I know that I have not been posted in a while, but I actually have been filming. I just haven't been able to upload my um videos because of the move and um I stay downstairs so I really don't have good internet connection. And every time I do try to like when I'm out and, and trying to upload my video, something goes wrong. So um I can't wait a long period of time to upload my stuff so yeah so I filmed my 37 and 38 week video and I could not upload it um and I filmed my 38 38 38 week video and to announce that my doctor has scheduled my um c-section for March 7th right today is March 6th by the way um, that Friday, I started having contractions, um, but they were irregular contractions, so I wasn't really, like, in a panic, but it did get me to start, um, packing up and make sure everything was good, uh, for when I do have a baby, so that morning, I started having irregular contractions, they were from, like, they range from, like, 10, every 10 to 20 minutes, They'll come. I'm trying to get enough light in right now. But yeah, they range from like every 10 to 20 minutes. And they were really irregular. Sometimes seven, sometimes three minutes. It was like that. So I was having the contractions like all day. I got up. I took the kids to get their shots done. I um, got their clothes together. I got my stuff together, even though I don't have no clothes. Um, what else did I do? Um, I had went to Walmart to get some last minute stuff to put in the hospital bag. And once I left Walmart, I left Walmart, and I didn't have a contraction for like a good hour after I left Walmart because I had to go to a parent meeting for Javen because he started to go. He's he starting to go to basketball practice. So I went to a parent meeting for that. And then after I left, that's when my contraction started back. So I called the hospital and I asked them, you know, how does this work? My I told my contraction my contractions were irregular and I already had a scheduled C section and I don't know if they was gonna keep me or I, I don't know if I should still wait till my contractions was five minutes apart or whatever. So the nurse told me to um, come in and get evaluated just to see how far along, how, where, where, where I was. Cause last time I went to the doctor, I was, um, I was closed. So I wasn't dilated or nothing. So I was like, okay. So after, after I went to the, after the meeting, I had my sister with me. So after the meeting, we went to the hospital and, uh, the nurse checked me. And um, she said I could be one or two, but it feel like I'm close. So I'm like, okay, but yet I was still having contractions. It was showing up on the monitor that I was having contractions. So I told her, well, she was like, well, uh, so was you supposed to have a C-section? I said, yeah, I had a scheduled C-section, and I supposed to get my tools tied. So she was like, okay, do you have your paperwork? I'm like, yeah, I got my paperwork in the car. She was like, okay, well, we're going to – um." talk to the doctor and see what he wants us to do. So I'm like, okay, cool. So while we're waiting on the nurse, I knew and my sister knew that we wasn't going to have a baby today. We was like, okay, well, cause I'm close, they're just gonna send me home. So it wasn't really, so that's what we expected. We expected not to be there that long. We just expected to see where I was and to go home. That's it. So, like 10 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes go by. The nurse said, oh, do you have your papers on your set? Yeah, they're in the car. She was like, okay, well, we're going to have a baby today. And that shocked the hell out of me because I did not expect for him to come that day. I went to the doctor March 2nd, and I know, you just, I was trying to announce you. Anyway, so I had him. Um, March 2nd, no, I, I went to the doctor March 2nd at 7 o'clock, and 
no way. Oh, they prepped me. I had to take my tongue ring out. Y'all don't see my tongue ring no more. I don't even know where my ring is. They had to take out, I had to take out all my jewelry. They gave me my spinal tap, but I think in the midst of having my spinal tap. Okay, hold on, y'all. Hold on, wait. Let's see. She killed herself. Sorry. How do you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I went in, they gave me my spinal tap, like, it's like, as soon as they gave me my spinal tap, I was tired, I was really tired, it's like, when my body got hairy, got heavy, it's like, I don't know, my body just, I just felt tired, like, my heartbeat slowed down and some more stuff. So when my um, child's father came in the room, he just said I was going in and out. Like, I wake up, I talk to them, and then my nose is really dry. I don't know, everything is just dry now. Um, he was like, I talk to them, and then in the middle of talking, I just fall asleep. And I didn't know that, but yeah. So he was born March 2nd at 10.59. He was 7 pounds, 4 ounces. And this is Jonathan. Say hi, Jonathan. It's almost time for him to eat. He was 7 pounds, 4 ounces. And he is 20 inches long. Um, He's healthy. And that's, that's, that's the most amazing thing right now. He's very healthy. Now, I know I told you guys that I was going to film everything, but... While I was in the hospital, I did not get no sleep, and I was in and out, cause the baby kept, the nurse kept coming in, the baby kept crying, so I really didn't get no sleep. Plus, I was in pain. I wasn't really in no, I wasn't really in a lot of pain, cause I was on medication. But yeah, it was basically the tiredness, so I couldn't really film like I wanted to film, because I was just too tired to film. So. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry about that. But we get to catch up now. So today is March 6th, which means I am four days postpartum. I had my C-section. I had my tubes tied. I'm sorry, y'all. The camera is, this son is washing me out. I'm so sorry. But if I keep doing this over here, it's really hurting my arm. But anyway, four days postpartum. And, um... So far, since I've been home, I got home Sunday. I was only in there for like a day. Only because I told her I was ready to go home because I did not want to be in the hospital because I knew I didn't want to stay there because I knew I was going to get no sleep. So uh, I just went, home, went ahead and left early. Uh, right now, I am at my child's father's house. And I'll be here for the next two weeks until I am better. Um, Yeah. What I'm gonna say, as far as healing goes, goes, um, I am not in as much pain as I was in when I first get that first night I got home. I just have I had a lot of trap gas, and that trap gas caused me hella pain. So what I did was I would rub my stomach clockwise, and then I would lay on my side. It's like Laying on my side was much better because I was able to let the gas out. Sorry, y'all, TMI. But it was easier for me to let the gas out that way. And um, lots of walking can help, too, also. And, um, so I had trap gas. I still have trap gas. I still not have had a bowel, a bowel movement. I did. They did give me an enema, um, and I hated it. I didn't like it, but some... Some uh, bowels did come out, not a lot though. And right now, I know I need to have another bowel movement. I need to breastfeed because I'm leaking. Um, what was I, what was I saying? Right, bowel movement. I didn't have a lot of bowel movement. Uh, I haven't had a bowel movement since I got home, but I feel like I need to, but it's just not coming out right now. So that's that. Um. So today, I'm not in really in a lot of pain. Um, I've been using my binder 
my stomach binder, but today I was just I chose to not use it today because I want to get used to walking around without it. Um, what else? But yeah, I'm not in like pain, pain, but it's still hard for me to walk around right now. And turning side to side is still painful because of the trap gas that I'm having. And I it do feel like pain on one side more than the other, and I guess that's for from my tubal ligation. I guess I don't know. Um, what else? Breastfeeding. Um, I am breastfeeding. Uh, it is difficult. I have to stop breast breastfeeding. I have to stop putting him to my breast for a day because it was just too painful. I guess I wasn't latching on like I was supposed to. Uh, and I started bleeding, so I decided to not let him latch on to my breast. I just decided to pump for the day. So this is your and uh, when I pumped on this side, on my left side, it was more blood than the Well, it was milk, but it had blood in it. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to just take a break from breastfeeding and just pump out his milk. And that's what I've been doing. Uh, so far, I'm only pumping out two ounces one ounce each breast but today when i pumped it wasn't really giving that much so i decided i need to go ahead and put him back on the breast before i lose my milk right now i am engorged it's not painful engorgement but they are filled up so i'm gonna get ready to put him on my breast in a minute so yeah so i just want to put this video up today to let y'all know what's going on and i'll just be filming like vlogging the rest so this is just like an announcement of what's been going on but I haven't been updated and I did have the baby but now we can just continue this journey on um, my postpartum via c-section and with my tubal ligation and with the little one here and today is Gabriel's birth second birthday and I'm kind of not feeling it that fact that I can't be with my child but I do plan on having him a big birthday party when I am better. So it's going to be late, but, you know, he's two. So he doesn't really know, you know, a lot. But, um, rather late than never. So he is going to have a big birthday party um, in like a week or two. I should be fine. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys continue to follow me as I go on this journey of my sixth baby postpartum um, for the next two weeks. Uh, I will be uploading every day, so I hope to talk to you guys in my next video, which will be tomorrow. Bye!